where all the cool kids hang out during uh, downpours and uh, rain storms here into the downtown. Uh, still going. Still going at a fairly decent clip, and we're going to see it winding down. There are just a few of those showers, though, lingering. we got a fresh lightning strike that's happening out toward the beach. In fact, just right near the Leslie Spit was where that lightning strike got picked up. So about another 10 minutes, we'll catch a break from this band, but there's another band back in behind it that is going to continue to move down toward the south and off toward the east. So Woodbridge, you're up next, then Vaughn, then Thornhill, then into Downsview, and there are some lightning strikes there, so it could cause a couple of ground stops at the airport. So scattered showers and storms like we were anticipating are firing up. Some of them a lot stronger down into southwestern Ontario where the hailstones have been pretty much golf ball sized. And we're going to find the showers winding down here as we go through the evening. And during the day tomorrow, we're not worried about the rain. Next chance of rain is going to come late into the day on Sunday with around the showers starting late into the afternoon and into the early evening. Our temperatures, they are going to be cooler. It's all the air that's into northern Ontario that is going to be moving through, not the stuff that's out toward the west. That's where the real heat is, and we are going to avoid that real heat. Uh, really, here as we go into next week, we will still find uh, mid 20s, though, so not too bad in the temperature department. So we have this little warm front, cold front combo swinging through, producing the showers right now. It's going to get us into that cooler start to the weekend with the showers winding down. That low will get well to our south and out of the way and keep us into a fairly dry pattern through the day Saturday. Most of the day on Sunday, Sunday evening, though, those showers return here with this secondary cold front that is going to drape across the area, bringing us those showers. And then we're going to be into a bit of a showery pattern into Monday. And into Tuesday, likely Tuesday morning, we'll start to wind things down and dry things out. And we are going to get into some uh, better weather as we get toward the middle part of the week. Although next Thursday, another round of showers possible coming our way. On the future cast model, you can still see the storms are going to linger through the evening. So 7 to 8, still dealing with it. A lingering shower until about 9 or 10. Then we start to push it all down into the Niagara region, and then it starts to move to the south. Some lingering cloud into the morning will give way to sunshine into the afternoon, and any of the showers we see tomorrow should be Hamilton to the south near the shores of Lake Erie. Sunday, dry start to the day. Cloud cover building in into the afternoon. Showers arriving closer to 6 o'clock or so here, I think, for the GTA. So tonight it is going to be scattered rain showers. Temperatures, they are going to be fairly mild at 23 degrees into the morning, down to 17 to start the day. Northwest wind at 20 to 30 kilometers per hour, 23 by midday, and settling in around 23 throughout the afternoon. So that northwest wind really takes hold. It's going to be a nice, clean, fresh air quality that we are going to see. We'll get back to 25 degrees on Sunday with that sunshine for the first half of the day. Cloud building in, showers into the afternoon. Spotty showers lingering into Monday. Chance of showers early Tuesday and then dry into the afternoon. So Tuesday afternoon. All of Wednesday look dry until we get into the overnight morning storms there for Thursday. And then on Friday, we'll clear things out as we head in toward the weekend. Temperatures all next week staying into the mid 20s. Enjoy your weekend because we do have some dry weather that will be setting up for most of it. And I'll update the forecast if you can join us tonight at 11 o'clock.